once and more. Um, we today here in St. Petersburg and um, Roland, my companion um, from Chesamo, he, he can't come because he's in a production. So I'm with my musicians here and this is Martella. Uh, one of the famous guitarists in German, he's really great. Mm -hmm. And Carlos, the percussionist, he's from Spain. And um, Igor, he's the trumpet player. A little bit the theme of my songs are very often um, the theme is um, to travel. Yes, one of the CDs has the name to travel in order not to arrive. And I think it's not only the meaning of traveling to other countries, traveling inside your yourself or something. And but sometimes I love to travel to be not at home. And so I decided to to try several languages. So it's the the feeling to be not at home, to look far from far away to home. Yeah, so I like that. And uh, in which language is it uh, more convenient, more um, easy for you to express your mind, your thoughts? I think in English and German. Uh -huh. Yes. So this, this both languages are yeah, yeah. easier for me. Okay. Uh, what kind of audience does your music have? And what kind of people are you waiting to see today at the concert? I don't know. We we have a very mixed um, mixed people. So sometimes they are very young. Sometimes they are older. So it's very mixed in. In several countries it's different. So in Russia it's mixed. So I can't say you <laughs> something special about it. Yes. Okay. Well, so we play again. here in clubs. Mm -hmm. and there are uh, very rich and elderly pe people and then we play young guys in 16 tons in Moscow or here. So it depends on the club I think too. Okay, so we'll see today. Yeah, we will see. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you think jazz is um, as much popular today as it used to be? And what yes, it's more popular because it was um, several years ago, it was like classic music, so only uh -huh. a few people listened to it and it was very, jazz was also a little bit complicated to hear and so people are afraid to hear jazz. Now with the, um, with the lounge jazz so it's more easier for the people to listen to jazz, to the harmonic of jazz. So the way to popularize jazz is to make it easier? No, I don't think that you can say that but there was a lot of um, musician who, who um, do jazz now in a very um, not easy, it's not it's for false. Um, um, I don't know how to, to, to say it. It's not easier, but it's um, so the harmony of jazz is now um, is now uh, um, hmm, how should I say that? Uh, maybe I can maybe do it in, in German. German. Es ist einfacher heute die Harmonien zu verstehen, weil so viele es gemacht haben. Früher war Jazzharmonie im Gegensatz zu Pop war, war schwierig. Aha. Aber dadurch, dass jetzt so viel im Lounge-Bereich das war, sind die Leute gewohnt, es zu hören. Ja. So ist es ja. normaler geworden. Ja. Okay. <lacht> okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, what inspires you on writing your songs and music? Oh, the whole life. <laughs> yes, I'm, I, in my songs I, I, I very often have stories about my own life, life of friends, of death and birth and all love. Yes, so it depends very often on my own life. So do your friends know about the stories you see yeah. about them? Yes. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, yesterday I prepared for the show the songs and we sing some from their very own from the first CD and it was funny because with the music and the lyrics I, uh, I got the feeling of the time. Yes, so it's really funny. Uh -huh.
cool. Um, in what country you haven't been to uh, with your concert you would like to play live? Maybe in Brasilia because we, we do a lot of samba and but I think um, they have a lot of samba musicians, so <laughs> it doesn't. But you have songs in Portuguese. Yes, yes of course. Yeah. In Portuguese yes, and uh, samba and bossa nova is Brazil. It's Brazil music. So um, I, I love this music, this kind of music. So okay, so okay. let's hope you get an invitation. Yeah, to maybe. I hope to. Uh, you've spoken about Moscow. Mm -hmm. um, have, you, have you been uh, to St. Petersburg earlier? Yes. I think it's my 15th time or something oh like wow. that, yes. So, so we, we have been here very often. What places do you like? Um, I love your town very much um, um, because it's it has a kind of, um, I don't know the English word, it's, 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 it's majestetisch. Uh -huh. it's like a, yes. And you have a lot of art here, <coughs> I love that. The old, the old um, buildings and the galleries, mm -hmm. and so I love it very much. Yeah. Are there any places in St. Petersburg you would like to see more, or did you see pretty I much? I think I see pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pretty much um, places in St. Petersburg, yes, because mm -hmm. I have been very often here. And which city do you like more in Moscow or mm -hmm. St. Petersburg? You can compare that because it's so different, yes, because um, St. Petersburg is lightly, more lightly, and Moscow is it's heavy, but it has a special mood, so you, you, I, the first time I came to Moscow, I think, oh, it's like in, in every town in, 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 in um, Europe, so you see Benetton, all the shops and so, um, but if you go a few streets, beside mm -hmm. so then you have really Russia so it's uh, yeah it's more than in St. Petersburg so yeah. so I can I can't compare it so mm -hmm. every city has its own character mm -hmm. but in which city do you feel more convenient more, more comfortable I can't say because we are always so nice in invitations <laughs> really really nice invitations we always have a lot of nice girls <laughs> Oh, oh um, shows the city and so, so I can't say that. So, uh, really nice invitations. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. um, do you have your own favorite music? Maybe not, not kind of uh, you're playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and what kind of music do you listen to in this game? Okay, I listen um, a lot of classic music. Mm -hmm. I love that. Debussy mm -hmm. and um, Chopin. And, yes, I love it very much. But also, I can't say one group or something. Sometimes it's one song there and one song there. And I, I love jazz, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> Are you planning to write a new album? Yes, it will, be ca it will come out in spring, mm -hmm. in Russia too. Yes, oh. It will be really nice because we change a little bit our style. We have a double bass and we played all... Um, we um, record it all live in the studio, so it's a little bit more jazzy, but not not um, traditional jazz, but it's more jazzy, and I think it's. It's. <laughs>